I think there has to be a backup. We have a small caregiver program where we don't hire the caregivers, we reimburse the clients and they're responsible for hiring and training and everything. And we always tell them, in order to be eligible for this program, you have to have two caregivers. You have to have a backup because one person can't be there 24 seven. And what happens if that caregiver gets sick? Then you don't have anybody, you know, especially if you're living by yourself, who's gonna help you out? So we always make them have, you know, two people on their little list that they give us. And we encourage family members to have a backup. And if, if the wife is the caregiver, you know, get Aunt Martha to be the caregiver so she can go shopping, even if it's for four or five hours a day. Or maybe, you know, find someone else in the family who's willing to come and spend the weekend so that they can get away for the weekend. It's not just the person with the spinal cord injury that is dealing with the traumatic injury. 